Good morning, and uh, my name is Dr. William Bird, and welcome to the first quiz that we're going to be doing as part of Beat the Bug. Now, I'm a doctor, I'm a GP, so why am I in charge of a quiz on nature? Well, very, very briefly, nature is good for us. Um, it gives us well-being, it gives us calmness, it helps our immune system rise up and fight, it stops the cortisol and drops blood pressure within 10 minutes, it helps reduce many of the long-term conditions. And how do I know that? Well, here is a book called the Oxford Textbook of Nature and Public Health, where we've got 97 of the top academics in the world who have come together from neuroscientists, neurologists, town planners, everyone to work out why nature is so important and it really is a dose of 10 minutes or 15 minutes every day actually really helps our immune system and just as a quick thing i edited the book so i do know those 97 people and i know they're from the top universities of the world so having worked out it's good for us let's see how much we know about it um so i'm going to start with a a few questions so if you have got some pens and paper the answers will be on our website so you can nip over to the website afterwards, but um, here we go. So I'm going to start with question one. So what is this bird? Um, it's singing, and I'm just going to play the singing just because this may be something that you've heard today. You've all probably seen it every day. So there we go. So number one is that bird there. And of course, it's not all white as it looks there. So the next one is how many stomachs do cows have? Now, we've probably heard of they've got more than one, but how many is it? Is it two, three, four, five, six, or even seven? So there's a quick one for you to be able to have a look at. The next one was taken by one of our staff, and I think this is just incredible. So this um, is a whole lot of eggs. You can see that all wrapped in, in some kind of jelly there. So the question then is, what is it and who has laid those eggs? OK, so let's all move on to four. Some of the trees are dressed up. You've probably seen them around along the roads, the roads, um, down avenues, and even in some orchards. So what tree is this one? Um, there are plenty of others that have got lots of blossom today, um, which is in April as you get it. But which one is this? A little bit more technical on this one. Um, you will see this almost invariably. It's just coming out. Um, it may be a little bit later in Scotland, so you may not see these until another um, few days, but probably out there already. And obviously it looks a bit dangerous, but is it dangerous? That's question number five. What spring plant is this one? And then number six is another little bird. Now, some of you will probably recognise it straight away from that, but listen to the song and just try and remember this if you don't know it already, um, because it's such a loud song for such a little bird. So there we go, number six. Number seven, again, another little bit more technical. I think those of you who said, oh, I found this quite easy. Well, here we go, here's something that's going to perhaps test you a little bit more. Um, you get it, it's a common weed really, but it, you get it in hedgerows. It likes the kind of slightly shady parts of the um, woodlands or hedgerows. Um, but the name of it, and it's two parts of the name, are common kitchen ingredients. So that's number seven. And 
And number eight, we all know and all seen these, but what is it? What plant causes this um, to cause all these little seeds to be able to disperse far and wide and sometimes in the wind later on we can see just whole fields of these little seeds whizzing off in the wind. And then here's another bird which um, again you may just get straight away from the picture there. Um, so let's have a look at what we've got here. So let's have a That's question nine. And then finally, question 10. Which animal was Mr. Todd in Beatrix Potter? See if you can remember from way back and those of you who have experienced Beatrix Potter, those who haven't ever read Beatrix Potter, um, it's still as relevant today as it was when these books were published in 1916, 1917. So there we go. Thank you very much indeed. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, go to the website and I'm afraid you'll come back to me again and I'll be explaining what it is, um, you know, the, the, the answers of all of these. And thank you. Have a great day and speak to you very soon. Thank you.